um, and the market begins to extend the, the the breakout ranges, you just have to, you know, be really mindful of um, an overbought condition. So instead of trying to scalp it or try to do something intraday, it's better just to wait for the signals. They will come. Even though there's time periods in between, like if you look at these two, these two are close together, but this one and this one was further apart. This one and this one's kind of close, this is kind of close, but then the next one again further apart. Close, close, so the next one could be further apart, but who knows how high this thing can go. So you really want to be mindful of that. All right, looking at the technicals now. Okay, <clears throat> first taking a look at the swing index. As you can see, it's, uh, the system is holding longs. Uh, and that was, that, that's what you want to do, continue to hold those longs. Uh, the last entry point, as I discussed with you, was at that, um, that $16.31 level. So it's still holding that. All right, based on um, yesterday's trading activity, or Monday's activity, uh, on chart patterns, a big white candle occurred. And that's what you're looking at here. This is generally considered bullish as prices close significantly higher than they open. If the candle appears when prices are low, it may be the first sign of a bottom. If it occurs when prices are rebounding off of a support area, the long white candle adds credibility to the support. Similarly, if the candle appears during a breakout above a resistance area, the long white candle adds credibility to the breakout. Though in the past 10 bars, there have been seven white up candles and two black down candles for a net of five white up candles. Though in the past 50 bars, there have been 33 white up candles and 16 black down candles for a net of 17 white up candles. Three white candles occurred in the last three days. Although these candles were not big enough to create three white soldiers, the steady upward pattern is bullish. Switching over now, taking a look at the, uh, the swing VIX. Currently, the market pulse is positive since it's trading above its signal line. The pulse scan crossed below the swing VIX four periods ago. Um, again, no entry points given for today, just holding on to longs. Uh, current stop loss for holding longs is going to be at the, let's see, looks like it's going to be at the 11.65, that's where you're going to put your, move your stop to, 11.65 if you're along this. Uh, looking at the trend channel, it is down. This means that negative momentum is entering into the market, so we expect sideways to lower prices within the next three to five days. The swing VIX is not currently in a topping above 39 or bottoming below negative 39 range. A buy or sell signal is generated when the swing VIX moves out of an overbought or oversold area. The last signal was an overbought sell 38 periods ago. You can see that on the chart, which was down here. The short entry never um, materialized as the market continued to break out. So even though we got the overbought, we didn't get a confirmation to short this. Um, so moving on. The swing VIX has just reached its lowest value in the last 14 periods. This is bearish. The security price has set a new 14 period high while the swing VIX has not. This is a bearish divergence. The swing VIX has set a new 14 period low while the security price is not. This is a bearish divergence again. So we have a, we have a bearish divergence on the swing VIX and price. Since the swing VIX crossed its moving average, uh, the Pennsylvania real estate investment shares price has increased a whopping 7.92% and it's ranged from a high of 17.35 to a low of 14.91. Currently, the market trend remains very bullish and pointing upward as it's trading above its long, intermediate, and short-term moving averages. As far as volatility is concerned, <coughs> excuse me, uh, the, uh, it managed to close above the upper volatility band by 4%. This combined, uh, this combined with the steep upward 
uptrend suggests that the upward trend in price has, has a good chance of continuing. However, a short-term pullback inside the bands is likely. 71.07% wider than normal range is what we currently have. The larger width of the band suggests high volatility as compared with its normal range. Therefore, the probability of volatility decreasing as prices entering or remaining in a trading range has increased for the near term. The bands have been in this wide range for 17 periods. The probability of prices consolidating into a less volatile trading range increases the longer the bands remain in this wide range. And that's all we have uh, for this particular stock. Thanks for listening.